Toyota says that it will temporarily shut down two of its plants in Kentucky and Texas as it deals with massive recalls. The plants are expected to be closed from a few days to maybe up to a couple of weeks. Meanwhile, the Transportation Department today demanding documents related to those recalls. It wants to know if the problems occurred during production or after the vehicles were already built. Well, with lawsuits mounting over crashes blamed on sudden acceleration and other problems, Toyota owners may be looking to black boxes for answers. The car coach, Lauren Fix, says it's a pretty good place to start. You know, Lauren, to show my ignorance about cars, I had no idea that there were these black boxes. Are they in all cars? They're in all cars, yes. It's information that is usually used by an insurance company in case of an accident. It, it records the last, depending upon how it's programmed, maybe the last 10 or 20 or 5 seconds prior to an impact. And therefore, if you said you were speeding, it could actually say, well, in reality, you were on the brakes. So it can be to your advantage or to your disadvantage. So what, what is shown on these black boxes? Well, everything? Or, or no, just... it doesn't show everything. It doesn't show where you've been or if you were you know, stopping at the grocery store. It only shows braking, acceleration, and it's got a bunch of other information, but it does not tell you exactly, it doesn't track your GPS system. But nevertheless, for lawyers, this can be both a good and a bad thing. Absolutely, and, and it depends if it's admissible in court, of course, but one of the things that's... But a black box is fairly reliable. Oh, yes, it, it is. Right? Yes, it is. It's just similar to what you see in an airplane. What happens in those last few seconds is recorded. So it just Is as it similarly indestructible? It's pretty much indestructible. It's underneath the front seat of your car, and you wouldn't want to take it off because that is also part of onboard diagnostics. So it helps to tell you how many starts you've had. So there's a lot of information that's actually to your advantage to keeping your car running efficiently, but it also can tell you what's happening just prior to an accident. So if someone said, I was standing on the brakes and my car unintentionally accelerated, it would have that information prior to the impact. So, you know what I always wonder, I'm not saying this happens in a lot of cases, but some, certainly it's tempting when, when you have something that's going to involve massive litigation mm -hmm. against Toyota. Then you're out of the woodwork, all these claims, I was in my garage and my car ran over me and yeah. it started accelerating, I was in the pool and it's winter, which is silly because I don't know what the heck I was doing in the pool. But, but there's always and, those. And now there's a black box that could say, I Actually, no, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you can say that, I, you know, my mother was driving the car and she said that, you know, she was on the brakes and she wasn't. This is all information. And the black box would prove that. Well, it will actually show only the last few moments prior to impact. So at a, in a court case, the insurance company would want that documentation to say, you know, we're not, we're not going to pay this claim. We're also going to dump your insurance we're not, because there's no way that we can say that this is your fault or the other person's fault. And it can be to your advantage also if you say, I was on the brakes and this guy hit me. And he can say, oh, no, you were accelerating through that intersection. So it can be to your advantage and to your so disadvantage. So all cars have this? All cars that are newer have it pretty much. 2000 and newer. All right, so w who has the best or most reliable or most statistically significant black boxes? Well, that's, that's a tough question because that information isn't available to us. But what is available I is... I bet that is in its own separate black box. Oh, that's... <laughs> maybe Pandora's box. Sure. You never can tell. But what's interesting is that you can access this information through Ford, GM, Chrysler, all the manufacturers, but Toyota will not let anybody have it. And that is why they're saying, we want copies of this information. The attorneys want, there's already 22 class action lawsuits. That was as of yesterday. Who knows how many have been filed as of today. And suddenly once okay. we start letting people know there's problems, more and more people are reporting to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration saying, you know what, I did have a problem. Very now good. they have to be sorted out. Lauren Fix, car coach, thank you very much. Thank you for having me again.